We are now traveling down the Tree Comale. We just stopped in a very ancient, or one of the first places where the start of Buddhism was, according to them. It's a very big doom. It's a very big doom. The doom is all the way up. All the way up here like that, you see a doom. It's all dark here, there's no light. The doom is all the way up until the sign sign here. Huge doom all the way down. Mm. Let more people join us and we we'll do some blessings from Sri Lanka. This is the doom, a light at the top of the doom. Looks more like the sun is shining. It's not a shiny a spotlight from the top. Nice doom made of all kind of brickwork. Very fine brickwork all the way down. It's a huge doom. Maybe about maybe about uh, 25 meters in width, diameter, and this is the ancient symbol. I don't know what there's elephant carrying something up there, like like a like a blowing the sound and all the way down. The symbol is the entrance coming down here, all the way up here into this doom. Mm -hmm. The doom looks like I cannot show you here because we are on the doom. We are on the, just near the doom, so I cannot show the full picture of the doom. Is it okay? So let me do the blessings. Let me do the blessings right now. Traveling, going here, going there, Hindu temples, Buddhist temples, <laughs> Christian, Christian church, church. <laughs> Christian church, Hindu temple, Buddhist temple. Why mankind has become like that? <laughs> Why mankind has become like that? Finding all kinds of ways of following their own belief system. They'll say, oh, it's my belief system. I can do what I like, you know. But no one cares about the sun. No one cares about the moon. No one cares about the sky, the trees, and everything else. They've been there before even man started religion. There was no religion at that time. And all of these things started with all this religion and all forgotten what man has to do with nature. One plus eight, the calendar, 2012. After calendar, the whole world is no more. The Mayan calendar. But the world is still there. Eh? And you ask, is my belief system? I will not. My belief, my belief. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense all you and your belief systems. You know? And make a whole big stupa like that for one man who found some way of life. Follow his teachings. That's the most important thing. Not pray to him. Not make his temple. Not color him with pink color and purple color. And, oh, sorry, orange color. Eh? And say Buddha is the most. Well, no, there's no need for that. Follow the teachings. Hmm? Life is in the suffering and there's a way to stop the suffering. 
follow his eightfold path, do good, see good, think good, and all the things will become better. That's what we're trying to say. Mm -hmm. So please understand a simple teaching like that, that everybody can follow. Okay, guys, so we are here today to the 16th of May 2022, and 17th of May is the day of the Sri Lankan government got victory over the civil war with LTTE. It will be tomorrow. Hopefully, we got think formally. In fact, we've been doing a lot of these blessings and blessing and elevating all of souls. There is no more black magic in Sri Lanka right now. There's no more soul to go. If there's any there's little souls here and there, that's all attached to the family matters and things like that. There's no more souls. We have done everything and we also elevate all of the souls and the souls will come back and reborn again according to the will of God. We come back and bring good news and good things for Sri Lanka. It's a beautiful country and a country separated by race and religion and belief system. It's very, very sad. Hmm? Okay, let me see now. How many people there? One, five, five. Okay, never mind. Let's give some time, five, five minutes, and then we will see what we can do. Hmm? Let's see. It's now, it's almost about 6.49. 6.49 uh, in Sri Lanka. It's following the Indian time. So it should be about, almost about two and a half hours. It'll be like 6.49. 7 for 9, 8 for 9, it'll be about 9.20. Well, I'm not saying about 9.20 right now. So 9.20 uh, India time, and of course, 9 o'clock in uh, nine o'clock in uh, Malaysian time, 9.20. Sorry, not Indian time, 9 o'clock. It should be 9 o'clock in South America and Mexico and things like that. 8 o'clock in the morning. Never mind, let people join us. It'll be a special blessing today. All the dark energy to be removed from all, all the stupas of this world. In Thailand, in Burma, in Cambodia, in everywhere. Just two parts, two parts, two parts. And we a lot of luck energy. So we will go today in the second day of uh, Vesak Day. Uh, still, Malaysians and uh, Sri Lankans are on holiday because they celebrate this day. Also, Singapore. But not about, I'm not sure about Indonesia. They have a different time. Uh, so let's see what we can do. We will all the dark energy from all the two parts of this world. So let's wait for some time. Let's get more members to come. Take a healing wand space, put a wand in front of you. Let the blessing, you know, our pranavali healing, our energy, and all coming from all the cosmic beings of Borobudur. They don't consider themselves as, as, a, as a Buddha because Buddha is a teaching, not a way of life. It's a, it's a way of life, not a religion. So people have made into religion. Mm? So let's see what we can do now. Mm. Mm, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 souls come, uh, I mean, uh, stupas from 12 uh, connection has come from 12 countries. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, 12 countries. Stupas. Right. Maybe Tibet, maybe uh, Nepal, also maybe uh, maybe Bhutan. Bhutan and uh, in all of these countries, those days are all, they're all fully Buddhist countries. You know? And uh, Burma, Cambodia, maybe Vietnam. And maybe some part of China, some part of Japan, they call Zen Buddhism. So it's all Buddhism, but they call it different name. Zen Buddhism, like that. So maybe even Korea, in many parts of the world. Kuan Yin is supposed to be part of Buddhism also. And all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we get stupas, including Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, stupas, or connection, coming with 12. And lots and lots of souls have come from there also. Mm -hmm. Because we are now in one of the most oldest sites of Buddhism, or they say it's the beginning of Buddhism for Sri Lanka. So we are here right now. So what's the name of the place? Sir? 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 Tamil, but then it's it's a Mihindala. 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 Okay, so right, so I'm wrong. So this is a, this is a birthplace of Buddhism in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a Burma. It's a nice stupa, huge stupa. Are you one of the biggest stupa in Sri Lanka? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the biggest stupa. It's all made with bricks, small, small bricks. And they're put together and make it such a round thing. So a lot of work has been done. I'm sure it's quite empty inside. Maybe there's another another space you go inside and do something inside. You know, like how the, the stupas in Borobudur. The Borobudur on top there's a hollow thing and they couldn't finish the final 
uh, statue of Buddha because they're not sure what what you will become. What's a mudra? So as you go higher and higher, the mudras are like that. The mudras are like that in one of the highest ones. Okay, some some mudra like that, some mudra like that, some mudra like that, some mudra like this, some mudra like that. And the highest one is like this, and after that they do not know what mudra happens after that. So they leave the the, the thing un, un, unfinished. That means when you become, when you merge with the light, you become the light itself. Okay, so they do not know. They do not finish that. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends, how many minutes? 284. Okay, guys, I think we'll start the, the blessings right now. Oh, we'll be about 7 minutes, 7 o'clock uh, uh, Sri Lanka time. We'll be about 9.30 Malaysian time. Let's see what we can do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, very good. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Second day of Vesak day. I never thought on Vesak day we will be traveling uh, the parts of uh, Sri Lanka, especially that will be a curfew. There's no more curfew now. <laughs> That's the best part. When we first came, full curfew. Next day, curfew from 2 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. So 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. you can move around. And the next day was 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. moving around. The third day, no more curfew. Today, no more curfew. So I hope there will not be any more curfew. Let there be peace and harmony on Sri Lanka. In fact, before we came to Sri Lanka, we were blessing uh, Sri Lanka very well. So far, we had no problem with food. Food is available in abundance. We all been eating in restaurants. You know, in fact, today, I would like to share a video. We were feeding the crows with pieces of bread, and it's so good. You throw the bread, they're all like picking up like suckers. I was so shocked, so beautiful they were doing. So let's feed some animals at the same time on this day. They are also hungry because when we curfew, they cannot go out. Animals cannot survive, they can't get food. Okay, guys, so another two more minutes and we'll start. So all of you have your warns, please. But we still have to travel another three hours to three hours, huh? Three hours, three hours. Uh, three more hours to drink formally. So it's seven o'clock here now. We probably leave at 10 o'clock in the night. So we are staying tight. And next day, we're going to Particola. And for Particola, we'll go to Candy. And hopefully on Friday morning or Friday afternoon, we will be in Colombo waiting for a workshop on Saturday, Sunday. And then we may make our move and go back to Malaysia on Monday. Thank you very much for all of you. And I know a lot of people are blessing, especially the Singapore group. They, got a, they are always doing blessing every two hours once, I think. They always put the flags of Sri Lanka down there. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, there are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now finally, we have 14 countries. Uh, stupas from Afghanistan. Kind of all the beings are here. All the souls are here. We will see when you make a stupa, some souls will be there to guard this energy and say, boom, like that. There are 14 things. They feel it's no more necessary. It's no more necessary. They can all go up now. Go back and continue with the soul journey to be what they want according to the divine plan and divine plan of the karma. They'll be doing this. In fact, some of the souls will come right now. There are 1,000, 2,000, 2,500, 600, 700, 800, 900 years old. 2,900 years old. One of the oldest stupa is when you go to uh, when, when you go to uh, India. You go to India. Uh, I'm not sure it's a it's a distance between Kashi. Go from move on to Kashi. I know the name. That is that made of a brick, big stupa, one of the biggest biggest front, one of the first stupas. In fact, the soul has come from there also. That means there are dedicated people who are souls who have decided to stay with the stupa and bring the teaching and spread the teaching through thought forms to everybody who come down there. So from there, there are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 souls are there coming from that place. I can't remember the name of the Bodhi, 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 Bodhi Gaya. Mm. Bodhi Gaya. Bodhi Gaya, Bodhi Gaya. Yes, from Bodhi Gaya. It's just near Kasi. You've got to take a, uh, you got to take a taxi or what? It takes about one hour to go to Bodhi Gaya. That's in India. But he was not born there. But he was made a place where it's on. Huh? There's a very old stupa there. Wow, the souls have come from Bodh Gaya, my friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very nice. Thank you. you realize something happening today? Everybody wants to teach But the sad thing is, they all become monks. They don't, you don't have to be monks. You can spread your teaching in so many better ways. You know, it's very sad they become monks and things like that. Anyway, let's that, start. Okay, get ready, my friends. Take the wands, please. Ah. Too much of Padmahasana. Okay, 
Okay, all of you, let's ask forgiveness for whatever wrong you have done on this beautiful day. Supreme God, Divine, Father, Divine, Mother, my higher soul, my spiritual guide, helpers, teachers, healing angels, the great coming God, nothing beings of Borobudur, Devaraja Borobudur, all the holy angels, all the holy beings, all the first being, first being, being. I'm humbly invoking for divine forgiveness for whatever wrong I may have committed this lifetime. My soul has committed many lifetimes through myself, through my soul, through my family, through my company, through my country. In this lifetime, my lifetime before this. I'm also forgiving everyone for all the wrongdoing towards me, my soul, my family, my company and my country in this lifetime and lifetime before this. I'm forgiving and forgetting, I'm forgiving and forgetting. I'm consciously accepting this manifest, manifest, manifest. God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a being of divine fire, I am the purity God inside. My soul, the soul of divine fire, my soul is a purity God. To all the souls who come here today, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you for understanding what we are here to do in Mother Earth. Thank you for understanding that Buddha is a teacher. He's teaching today's Teacher's Day. Wonderful. Teacher's Day. Wow, not bad. Teacher's Day and we all are here. And Buddha is one of the biggest teachers of spirituality, about life and what we can do to become better people and the teaching for our soul right now. So we thank Buddha and his teaching for whatever good he's done and also all the teaching we have received from all the inner world, from the cosmic beings of Borobudur, the devil, but all the holy angels, all the beings and all the cosmic council and all the beings around us and all the mother nature of all the teaching and we are spread to you and you now goes back. I want every one of you to be a teacher. God, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a being of divine fire, I am the purity God inside my soul, the soul of divine fire, my soul is a purity God and today is full moon according to the calendar of PVH. Because if you look into the NASA calendar, NASA says today is 100% full moon. Yesterday was 98% and some in the middle night 99%, today is 100%. People say the eclipse of the sun or the moon, doesn't matter, let it be, it's been going on for millions and millions of years. Let it be eclipse, let it be anything we want. It's all part of Mother Earth and the planet doing its work according. We do not have to fear any one of these things. Okay? Let's accept it, let's bless now. So good day to bless all the, uh, the beings or all the souls who have been taking care for 2,600 years of all the supers out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you close your eyes and sit down. You have page number 7 of Worms right in your Ajna Chakra. Let the blessing goes to all the souls who have been guarding and being guardians of all the supas around the world. Let the divine light go to each and every one of them. Bless them with the abundance of love, compassion, and kindness, and the blood spiritual power, and for them to go back to the council body and go according to the plan of the divine plan. Let God's blessing be with them. Let the divine make each and every one of them a spiritual guide, helper, teacher, healing angel to come down to Mother and guide mankind no matter what religion they are. Let God's blessing be with each and every one of these natured, uh, with all of the souls who have been there for, for many, many hundreds of years. Let the blessing go to each and every one of them. Let it go by the council body and come back as guides, spiritual guides, helpers, teachers, healing angels, spiritual angels, and bless mankind and Mother Nature wherever they possibly can. Let God's blessing be with each and every one of them. God, thank you, thank you. I am a being of divine fire, I am the purity God inside. My soul, soul of divine fire, my soul is a purity God inside. All the nature beings of Mother Earth are beings of divine fire. All the nature beings of Mother Earth are the purity God inside. Let God's blessing be with each and every stupa. Let the divine connection come to each and every stupa. Be there, emit the light of light of God and transmit to each and every person who needs help physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. Let the stupas be connected with the light. Let the divine light be with each and every stupas all over the world, including the one I see right now. Let it go to each and every part of Mother of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Remove all the dark energy from each and every stupa. Remove all the occult energy practiced by all the not, not truly Buddhist followers of Mother Nature, Buddhist followers of Buddha. Let the fire blaze away and burn away all the connection from the inner world, keeping track and keeping connection with them. Thank 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Mother Earth, thank you, thank you, thank you. To all the teachers of Buddhism, thank you, thank you, thank you. To all the teaching of Buddha, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let the light of God be in all the teachings of Buddha. And let it shine, let the power itself remove all the dark energy, stopping the teaching from spreading to all mankind and all religion. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, my friends, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us today. I know it's a short visit. It's full moon. We are here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Done. Okay, let us let me show you how the stupa actually looks like. Let me take this thing and go down. Mm -hmm. Not bad, guys. We got 900, 500 old people watching us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going down now. Wow, can you see the other scoop out there? Look at the moon. Oh my God, I forgot to see the moon. Whoa. Whoa, my guys. Can you see the moon out there? I'm not sure if I can magnify this. Let me see if I magnify this. Yes. Oh, that's the moon. In fact, with the naked eyes, it's much more brighter and much more beautiful, like a spotlight. You don't see so much in the camera right now. And there's another scoop out there. There's another stupa there, right in front. Can you see the stupa there? That was the new one. This must be the old one. That's the new one. Mm, look at the moon. My God. So nice. The moon is so nice, my friends. You know, seeing the camera and seeing naked eyes, two different things. Let me magnify this and see whether you can see it better. It's the best I can do. Wow, so happy to see the moon right now. Our, now it's gone, we just show it for a short while. Our moon is a cosmic body of divine fire, our moon is a purity god size. All the nature beings of the moon are beings of divine fire. All the nature beings of the moon are the purity god size. God, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to go in front now. We're going to show you how the stupa looks like. It's a very old stupa, it's a non new stupa. It's made like a big half uh, spear, like a spear, not like the other ones. Mm -hmm. We're going down now to show you the, the stupa, how it looks like from far away. That's the stupa, my friends. That's how the stupa looks like. From the front is the entrance, the four entrances, north, east, south and west. And this is the stupa. This is stupa right now. And this is a banyan tree, where supposedly Buddha sat down and got his enlightenment. Hmm. Okay, let's go out. Is that the entrance? Statue of Buddha right in front of the old, old stupa. They're right in front of your place now. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys later on. Thank you. Bye. See you guys tomorrow, maybe. Thank you, guys. See you guys. Bye.
Mungkin Being an island, there's a lot of wind blowing. Lots and lots of wind are blowing right now. Being an island. Thank you guys for joining us today. Stupa, my friends. So 
after making that they want to make a bigger one right on the hill they didn't want to okay same segment but the one was in the beginning so not like that okay so all the beings have gone whatever surpass in each and every stop by 